Um, my father, by the way, but, right? This is this is our favorite thing ever. Yeah. Right before I came to New York, both my aunt Donna and my father said, "Hey, please come stay with us if you need to." And we had hotels for every other night, but Saturday the hotels were like a grand a night in New York. I don't know why, because it's Columbus Day and a lot of people are. So I called my dad. My dad has two houses now. He's moving from one to another. And I'm like, hey, me and the first we call Aunt Donna, we're like, hey, we, me and Ben would love to stay for a night. She's like, oh yeah, this weekend's <laughs> not good. She's like, we could do a garage sale soon, so this weekend's not good. But any other weekend, you just gotta show up. You can't like, yeah, you can't give them the heads up. That's probably what it is. You and said any time. Yeah, my dad goes, hey, I was like, hey, can we stay a night? He goes, ah, and then he gets on the phone. His <laughs> wife, he, he he calls her over. He goes, oh, Christina, they want to. He's like, yeah, it's just not good this weekend. Well, my parents are the same way. My parents uh, last Any year, other time. They uh, were supposed to see him for Thanksgiving, but the cats had fleas, apparently. And uh, cause I was supposed to go to their place, and then they couldn't, like, so I wasn't allowed. Like, oh, okay, fine. And so well, This is a lie. It. I mean, we know this is a lie. Well, they the resolved cats it. And then again, the cats, at Christmas, the cats got fleas again. No, then, this is a Ray. They don't want you in their home. Yeah. I mean, this is not. I wanted to pick up my old guitar from them. And yeah. my mom's like, Watch out, I'll meet you at the train station. And really? She met me at the train station. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know what's going on in Do there. Do they think if you come into the house, you legally won't leave? Yeah. <laughs> Do you believe that's squ part Squatter's rights. Right. <laughs> <You> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm coming I, I over. I got you. <laughs> I'm coming over to get my old guitar. <laughs> Your dad's like, we're not falling for that again. <laughs> this stupid fuck thinks he's going to get in here. Fuck you, dad. I got mail here. You can't get me out. You walk in. You just start having your mail sent there. <laughs> you walk in. <laughs> You walk in waving a lipa bill. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm never leaving, you stupid bitch. And I just start smoking meth? Yeah. <laughs> you just light a cigarette and you're dancing around. I love the idea. I'm moving home. So I don't, I don't know what they're doing there. It reminds me of things my grandparents did to my mom back when, I, when I was younger. When they pull the same, you know, like we're supposed to go to their place for Thanksgiving. Uh, they're sick. My mom knew, like, uh, they're sick. Like, well, they're sick, really? Yeah, they seem, to get, <laughs> they seem to get sick every holiday. Yeah, they're full of shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's nothing better than on the holidays, the family just saying no. <laughs> Last year, my aunt Kathleen canceled Thanksgiving the night before. Really? Yeah, and she's just like... Under what pretense? Nanny's not feeling up to it. Oh, wow. Once somebody gets over a certain age, yeah. you can use them and, and then just go, they're not feeling up to it, and you never even have to... With, uh, people are like, put her on the phone. Kathleen's like, I gotta go! <laughs> they're like... <laughs> Put her right, on the careful. phone, this Kath. This is a particularly windy part. Be careful. Okay, we relax. Like, and the wheel. Put her on the phone, Kathleen. I mean, the reality is she was, is she, is she still alive ben, when she died last right. year? All the crosses and flowers <laughs> are people who've died on the southern state. Yeah. I mean, look, you, you get a hey. lot of it. I used to see you know teenage people or adults who died in the southern state. They're coming to the morgue. Uh, right. Yeah, it ain't no, it ain't no thing. Uh, it ain't no thing. I saw a girl once. She was trying to cross the southern state on foot. Like, you know, I don't know why. She was at a party, and she got, you know, a little uh, twisted or whatever, and she uh, got a fucking face full of a truck and uh, died. Now, what does a body look like when it's been hit by a truck? It wasn't really a truck, but uh, I was just saying, it sounded better than, a, a, you know, a Civic. But uh, What does she, a body look like after it gets hit by a Civic? I'm telling you, I mean, uh, it, Basically, the head feels like a bag of broken glass. Like it looks relatively intact often, but like it's cr like it's you know when you like you know when you like drop a, a glass sometimes and it's kind of like broken but like still together I, sort of. It's like that. It's like a broken of. light bulb. Uh, so the, the the skin's holding it together, but it's just all loose. And you gotta like position it for the X-ray. It's uh, there's a lot of gravel. Like embedded in the skin now. There's burn marks from like where either they skidded or, uh, um, you know, or, or they we hit the pavement. Uh, often there'll be a compound fracture on the arm. What did they'll her? Be, what did her? What would her breast look like? Look, they're, they're, no, no, not look. The I'm same, asking they're, they're the same variety as living women's breasts. Okay, I mean, I'm so not, you, you're not gonna get me on this one. Did you look at her breasts? Were you a cop? Okay. Women I, have breasts. Women I have vaginas. I was just say to Ray, if a good-looking guy OD'd on heroin and I was at a morgue, I would be curious as to what the guy looked like, you know? I mean, I'll be, I'll be I might take a little look at the dick. I'll what be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Like, All look, right. You see everything. You take you a picture. You see it. 
Uh, you see it. And I used to wonder, like, yeah. look, of course you're not going to be you know, doing anything awful, beating off. But, no. like, do you get attracted? And there's something right. about a lifeless body that really has no appeal to me. Well, I don't know. Maybe you just haven't found the right one. Perhaps. I mean, you maybe know. Maybe you just didn't find the right lifeless body. Maybe. Like, we didn't get a lot of cancer patients because they were already seeing a doctor, so we know why they died. Right. So they wouldn't be coming to a morgue. You get surprises. Yeah. You get yeah. people that try to make it across the southern state. He hasn't been to the doctor in 10 years, and now he dies in the toilet. Figure right. it out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun game of Clue. Yeah. A lot of people die in the toilet because they just they feel bad and they go, maybe I can shit this out and they can't. And really? They die. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's weird intestinal things or whatever's, whatever's going on. You know, something's wrong. You're like, maybe I just got to take a shit. That's Long Island for you. Right. Maybe I just got to take a nice shit. I can shit it out. <laughs> <laughs> I can shit it out. You should go to see the doctor, Vinny. <laughs> Shut up. Everything I just gotta take a shit. A nice Dude, shit. You know what's funny? Growing up, whenever you felt bad, somebody would ask you, "Did you move your bowels? Did you go to the bathroom?" I mean, look, it's not. It's not a bad question. When you're a kid, especially, because you know, when you're like, it took me a while to realize what shit felt like before. Like, you know, sometimes you have a nice shit brewing, but you think you know something's wrong, or like, you know, when you eat a nice bowl of pasta and you get a little acid reflux, but you think the world's ending because you got a hot burp. So I right. mean. You gotta tell. You gotta tell your I kids. I just had all my blood taken uh, from my doctor, Doctor Ramos. He has a picture of George W. Bush on the wall. Uh, oh, he's a big Fox News fan, right? Loves Fox News. Loves Bush. I said, "Is keto good?" He goes, "No, Mediterranean diet, fish, vegetables." I'm like, "Okay." What's well, the same? It's it's also keto, fish and vegetables. <sighs> Everyone's got their gimmick. Look, it everyone's matter. got a gimmick. It's like yeah, like you don't have to eat like a. a Glass of baking grease if you're doing Can keto. Can I tell you what I had yesterday and you tell me where I went wrong? Sure. I woke up with Ben. Mm -hmm. We went to Park Avenue Autumn for brunch. Nice. We had cinnamon rolls with honey roasted almonds. Mm -hmm. What is Cinnamon it? rolls? Yeah, it was, it was the cinnamon, like sticky buns. Like the cinnamon sticks? No, like a roll, a like roll. a sticky bun. Oh, like an actual cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Well, I'll tell you right now, that's, that's no good. But uh, first of all, yeah. You don't. You're not taking into account the rest of the day. All right, go ahead. I, I, I walk six miles. Can you remember? Can you? So already, first of all, I'm fine. I walk six miles. Okay. So it's a cinnamon roll. I mean, so you, at the pace you walk, and you're not you're not you're not a sloth. But I'm the pace sloth. you walked, walking six miles, you probably burned maximum six hundred calories, seven hundred calories. It's not all about calories, Raymond. You you, know the that. cinnamon roll itself probably had twelve hundred. You need to shut At your mouth. At the end of the day, it is calories. A lot of it is calories. You need to shut your, your mouth. Your body's burning calories. Like, you haven't burned the calorie keto, your whole entire life. I have been on keto. You, uh, keto we to you we is a this? Spanish guy that works in the deli. Listen, we had breakfast risotto, which is night pumpkin rice. risotto. We had pumpkin risotto Creamy with rice. sausage. Then we had, um, what do we have? Butternut squash soup. Then we had- That might be okay, but probably a Then we had though. avocado toast with crab. Then we had a, a no, fried no. chicken sandwich with jalapeno coleslaw. Then we had smoked salmon eggs Benedict. Then we had a s'mores sundae. Then we had a creme brulee. And then we're done. Now we're done. I have a bag of roast beef in my backpack. That's what I mean. After and, that, American we cheese. didn't eat. After that, we did not eat until we went and had General Tao's chicken, beef lo mein, scallion pancake, and some dumplings. You could eat so you could have eaten ribs with no sauce. You could have eaten beef and broccoli with no sauce. I know. I went off my program. I mean, look, not everyone can have the uh, the, the the rigorous uh, standards of uh, dietary resolve that I have. Uh, why don't you? And I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Why don't you start a personal training company? I feel like I could. I'm, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I'll, look, listen, listen, listen. How big are you now? I'm a big guy. I'm three something. I don't know. I'm Maybe three, I'm under three. I'm in the high threes probably. I might moment. be under three. I got fat. I got really fat. Are you in the high threes, do you think? I don't know. It's bad. You think in the mid threes? Mid to high, yeah. I don't think I'm four. You can't go over four, right? No. You can't. Look, look. <laughs> I love how you say no like that. You go, no. <laughs> no, that's when it's not fun anymore. <laughs> I won't let myself get over four. <laughs> Four, four is when I, that's when I rein it in. I'm only knocking on it. When I, when I get to four, I say no more. Look, I'm, it's uh, tough. 
I know. I, I've been doing it for a week now. About. I'm I'm a supporter of of the, your weight loss. Thank you. I mean, I'm going to do it. I'm in shape. I mean, isn't I'm that already, funny uh, when people say that it means nothing? They go, <laughs> I'm so I'm proud of you. You go, shut up. <laughs> yeah. You shut up. Oh well, now now that gives me the relief. Yeah. No, I mean, I do it to spite you because you, you all you do is call me a fat pig. Um. I do love. not call you a fat pig. You call me something. I call myself a fat pig. You've called me a fat pig plenty. I, is, is I call, not your Hollywood, so you can't be fat shaming people. No, I call everyone that's fat fat. Lilo's fat. I call everyone fat. I'm fat. Right. I don't mince words and lie like other people. You're big bone. You're husky. You're, no, it's fine. You're prestigious. I, I say I'm you're, fat. You take up space. You're prominent. I remember this episode of Ali. I swear to God, there's a new clothing company. Starburst made me laugh. He sent me a thing where they go, for pro- it's clothing for prominent men. It's Ooh. like, no, they're fat. There was an episode that of prominent? Ali McBeal, I remember, where this fat guy was suing this woman for not dating him or something. He was gross. Gross pig. And then at the end, he she was trying to tell him, like, oh, no, you're fine. You're doing good. You're a good guy. And he's like, well, then your friends date me. And she, she's like, well, no. He's like, because of my heft. <laughs> she's like, yeah. And I've always thought that would be a nice way to refer to you. Like, my heft. My heft. Doctor, is it my heft? Is that the issue? Look, it's not that I, I eat a lot of coca. I have prosciutto during the day. You get some nice pepper jack cheese. There's a lot of stuff you can eat. Now, you uh, walk around eating meats and cheeses, and you get them out of a bag, and that disturbs many people. Well, look, I mean. Once you ate garlic in a frozen yogurt place, and you did that for what, a cold? Well, that's because I, I just vomited in the restaurant. That's true, and you decided to eat a raw clove of garlic. Well, it's good for your stomach. It, it helps. It's antimicrobial properties. So you were, just, you were eating raw garlic in a... Yogurt spot yeah, where like parents spot. were tasting yogurt with their children. Well, look, go taste your yogurt. I'm tasting garlic. There was like a know. little girl, like she has her mother. She's like, "Is he eating garlic?" And you're like, rawr, rawr, rawr. It's antimicrobial. I don't want to tell you. Like, yeah. this is not. This is not. I'm not doing porn in a fucking yogurt place. I'm eating a clove of garlic. Yeah, a raw this clove is, of garlic. It, you can buy it in a grocery store, kid. You know, yeah. you gotta learn. <laughs> you gotta learn how to buy world. dog food in a grocery store too. You shouldn't eat that. You shouldn't eat kibbles. You know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in its mouth and watch that and then press play on your phone.